Hello friends, this is Rupesh and you are watching CPP.net video series on C++ programming series and this video is about L value and R value in C++. So, and then we'll little bit talk about what is L value and R value references and I'll have a separate video for L value and R value references. This video is sponsored by Dev C++, a fast, portable, simple and free C and C++ IDE and code editor for Windows. Dev C++ uses MingW GCC as its compiler and it can also be used in combination with Sigwin or any other GCC based compiler. Dev C++ have low memory footprint because it is native Windows application and does not use Electron and it is immensely popular due to its light footprint yet giving you all the features you need not to mention that it's free. So download the latest release for free by clicking the link in the description field. So every expression in C++ is either L value or R value expression. So if some expression is L value, so we'll see the definition. L value is if you can take address of expression. So some expression is there. If you can take the address of that, then it is L value. Okay. And they last extended period of time, meaning they last more than one line. I'll tell you what, what I mean by that. So the important point is you can take the address of expressions. Okay. Now R value is exactly opposite. You cannot take the address of R values and they are temporary. They don't exist after one line. So L value. Yes, you can take the address of that R value. You cannot take the address and L value last more than one line and R value is like limited to one line only. So let's see the examples here. We have integer x is equal to 10. So this 10 is R value, whereas this x is L value. You can take the address of x, but you cannot take the address of 10. Another example is integer a is equal to 10, b is equal to 20. And then you have integer x is equal to a plus b. So this a plus b, whatever the result would be, that is 30. Then this 30 is R value. So the result of this expression is R value, whereas this X is L value. So X is L value and A plus B is R value because you know that you cannot put M percent here. It's like this. You cannot take the address of A plus B and assign it into some integer pointer P because it will throw an error saying that A plus B is not L value. Similarly for classes, if you have some class, let's say cat, and then you create an object like this, then this particular thing, this is like creating an object, temporary object, I should say, assigning that object to this C. So if your compiler is not optimizing stuff, it should do the construction of this cat object, which is temporary, and then it will assign that to this C. So the copy constructor would be called here. Okay. So this cat, which is temporary here is R value. And this cat object would not last more than this line. What I mean is, can you access this particular object in next line? Maybe just after this answer is no, you can use only C, but you cannot use what was constructed here. And that's why that is R value. You constructed this temporary object and assign into C and then this cat is destroyed, but the values you hold in C and you can use this C afterwards, but this is gone. So that's why it is R value. It is temporary. Similarly, if you see the function, you have this square function, it is taking integer x and returning just the square value of that. And if you call like this square 10, it will return 100. But that 100 is R value, meaning this expression is R value expression, you cannot put address here. Okay. What I mean is integer s q is equal to square 10. Now you cannot put address here. You cannot take the address of this expression because that is some temporary hundred makes sense, right? Let's look at the code and we'll see with some examples. So first example I wanted to tell is like a is equal to two and B is equal to maybe three and integer P is equal to, but the address, you can't do this. See, it's not working. Whereas if you are just simply doing this, it will work. See, it is not giving any error symbol here. Now <laughs> compiler is so smart. It can give you, see it compiles successfully. If I'll just revert that a plus B, let's compile this. It will tell you that cannot take address of R value of type integer. See, it's telling you that this 
full thing is r value see it's exactly what i said similarly if you have some function and if you pass 10 here like this so this is okay see there is no error here and if i'll compile this it got compiled no problem no error here and now if i'll take the address of this uh, and pointer here maybe see it would fail it will tell you that let me compile this it would again tell you the same thing that you cannot take the address of r value of type integer see it's pointing out exactly the same thing so the bottom line is if you can take the address of some expression then it is l value otherwise it is r value now as i said i will talk little about l value and r value references let's look at that so integer ref r of x is equal to x so yeah so we know that this is l value reference because x is l value and you are referring that meaning you are creating a reference for that so this is l value reference now let's look at the r value reference we have integer double ampersand r r is equal to maybe 20. i know you must be surprised to see this that you can put something like this but yeah it will work i'll just compile this see it compiled successfully and it is working okay so as this was l value so you created the reference of l value now this is r value we know that and you can create the reference of that one so if you will print this okay let's do that i'll just print this it will print 20 yeah so this is working you can take the reference of r values i mean temporary ones and we know that okay this this is like l value reference this is like traditional one we can print even this and i'll compile this and execute this see 20 and 10 so this is l value reference and this is r value reference but so many people would say if they know or if they can think that if i do something like this integer cons ref p is equal to 20 then this is allowed why why it is allowed now i'm taking the reference of 20 which is r value we know that but using only single m percent why i should not be allowed to do this right actually you are allowed to do when you are binding it with constant i'll remove this constant and then you'll see that okay it is giving error see it started giving error so the rule is you can bind r value references i mean r value to l value only when you bind it with constant so here compiler must be doing some hack or i don't know <laughs> compiler can do uh, something like this maybe some integer tamp is equal to 20 and the term tamp will come here tmp so this is still valid right we don't know i mean who who is implementing like what because we have so many compilers but the rule says that you can do bind r value with l value reference if you are binding with constant that's why in copy constructor we always take r value meaning the object as constant because you might be assigning some temporary object and if you are not using constant in copy constructor then it will not work so i think we are clear about l value and r value and little bit of l value reference and r value reference i'll talk about why we use r value reference in another video because that would require some explanation of move semantics and all that okay so that will take another maybe 10 minutes so let's not increase the size of this video we'll have that in another videos so i hope you would have enjoyed this video thanks for watching guys bye bye take care